The Notion experience is subtly different on a phone, tablet or a computer, but if you can harness the power of the whole ecosystem, you have a real productivity tool on your hands. Let's start with the iPhone because it's an easy one to overlook, but you can get a lot done on the Notion iOS app. We've spoken recently about how iPhones are becoming really important tools for a wide range of jobs, and Notion is a perfect example of that. Despite being a slimmed down version, the iPhone app gives you a great oversight of your workspace and can allow you to make updates when you're out and about. And let's face it, when we're out and about is often when the best ideas come to us. Just being able to reach into your pocket and write down an idea as it comes to you is a brilliant thing to have. It's great for checking off a to-do list, and if you work on Notion as part of a team, then you can get notifications if somebody leaves you a comment, which is a nice little addition to. There's also one key feature that the iOS app has, which the Mac OS version doesn't, and that's dark mode, which is amazing if you're a bit of a night bird like me. Of course, there are always gonna be limitations when you try to cram a full Mac OS app onto an iPhone. The calendar view suffers from this the most, with all of your pages reduced to a small dot, and no way to rearrange the dates without clicking into them. You also have to tap the breadcrumbs in the right hand corner in order to undo something, which is really annoying if you're trying to write things down and you've made a mistake. But then you have to remember what the iPhone app is primarily there to do, which is be a great reference point for all of your workspace. Notion on the iPad might look like a souped up version of the iPhone app, but even on iPad mini and iPad pro, the experiences are completely different. The iPad mini is the more portable of the two devices and it's great for things like Notion taking but the iPad Pro gives you much more space to breathe and the addition of a keyboard can make it ideal for long-form work. Not all iPad accessories are going to fare so well on the Notion app. Because of its line-by-line -line block format it's really difficult to take down notes with the Apple Pencil and that's one area that I would love to see improved. While we're at it I'd love to see much better Siri shortcut support as well. It does work on the iPad but all you can really do is open up a single page. It would save so much time if I was able to just create a new note straight off the bat. Widgets are however a very welcome addition to my iPad's create focus mode which is what I use to plan all of my YouTube stuff on. You can create widgets that add links to individual pages, your most recently viewed pages or favorites. So I've got two of those tables right on my screen. Multitasking is brilliant on the iPad Pro 2 especially if you want to refer to some notes while you're working on your Notion workspace. But let's face it if you really want to get stuck into some work you can't beat working on a computer. It's obviously not as portable. There's no dark mode. Yes, I'm gonna keep banging on about it, but put it this way, I would never want to set up a brand new workspace on any other device, especially if you're setting up Notion as a company wiki and you need a really fancy design that people are gonna enjoy using. You really do wanna use a computer to do that because the other versions are gonna be quite frustrating. And of course, you've got the choice between the Mac OS app and the web version if you ever find yourself on a different computer. Cross-platform functionality is not always a given with these apps. I've been testing out Airtable a bit recently and I'm really frustrated by how difficult it is to do some things on the iPad. But on Notion, every single device adds something to my workflow and that's what makes it such a brilliant productivity tool. If I had to choose one device to work from, it would definitely be the computer, but I can see a world in which the iPad really catches up. And you know what? I actually tried to work three weeks straight entirely on an iPad. I'm gonna pop that video up here in case you wanna watch something next. But thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in a bit.